All right, now that's finished, we'll be having audio soon. So the next thing that we need to do, actually we can leave that open. Next, next thing we need to do is go to go, go to folder. We're gonna do slash extra. And once, since we have that, we're gonna replace that file. And I will have the, the actual file I wanna replace it with in the link. And it is a legit file, I promise. And we're just gonna drag it over here. And it's gonna have to do we want to replace or keep both. We want to replace. It's been replaced. Now that we've got that file replaced, we got a couple other things that we want to install that will all be in the link that I downloaded. Um, one of them is the supplemental for the OS X 10.8 and 10.8.2 rather, which is what we're running. And it's always good to run the supplemental stuff if you can. We definitely do want to run it. I'm going to install it. Take a quick second. And we'll do this install. And that's pretty much it. Um, the next step for us is going into the, bio, into the BIOS. There's a couple of other things that I can install pretty quick. But again, I did this install with my graphics card out. I need to put my graphics card in so I can finish up. Uh, some of this install and get get everything running correctly um, This thing's gonna ask me to restart. Let me see if this update will run now See it won't run until after I get the graphics card in so the next thing I'm going to do is Do a restart And I'm going to try and boot into my BIOS To make sure that we can go ahead and set that up really quick and after we do that, a couple other little things and we will be complete. The screen's gone dark and the easiest way to boot into the BIOS is just by holding the delete button. And that should take us directly into the BIOS, which it has done. And we're going to start from left to right and fix everything that needs to fix. So I'm going to go ahead and overclock this thing while I'm here. And in the first column there you have, let me zoom in on this stuff so you can see what I'm doing. Let me get up get over so you don't have as much glare um, the first one and this is the gigabyte BIOS uh, gigabyte motherboard BIOS is advanced frequency settings so we'll go in here and only thing we need to do is go into the advanced CPU core features we don't need to mess with the mem the system memory multiplier some people's is reading one uh, three one point three or one three point three three Mine is reading 1600 or 16.00, so that's fine. We're going to the advanced features so we can do this overclock. And on my turbo rate, the main thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change all these out to 45. And the reason I'm going to make it 45 is because I want a 4.5 uh, gigahertz overclock. Um, everything else on this page looks pretty straightforward. I mean, pretty up and up. We go to advanced memory. We want that to stay the same. Everything looks good there. We're going to go to the voltage. CPU voltage we're going to bring to 1.23 because I know that's a stable voltage for my particular uh, overclock. Then we're going to go to DRAM and we're going to change that to 1.55. So we got both of those changed. We got this changed. I just like to always go back and take a peek to make sure that everything is performing correctly. And I'm just bouncing back and forth. So everything looks good here. System, we don't need to do anything. Before you go fooling around, again, let me stress, you do need to upgrade um, your firmware for your motherboard. I've got the latest firmware, so I'm good to go. And I just downloaded it from Gigabyte's website. In boot options, I always like to pick as my primary boot the hard drive that has the information that I need on it. And it is a UEFI, which is good. Um, I'm just tweaking my CD-ROMs because I know they're in different cases and I've done this before. So peripherals, we want AHCI for SATA mode selector. Um, and it, uh, I, I, INIT, INIT display first. You want PG. And then internal graphics, you want disabled. Um, I turn on EHCI handoff um, just really because everything else is pretty uh, standard and good to go. Um, last thing we need to do under power management is to disable wake on LAN. So that is disabled. Next thing we're going to do is hit F10 and I'm doing all this on the wired keyboard and then I'm going to hit 
enter to execute that um, overclock. And I generally go back in there again if I can right after I execute that just to check and make sure that everything is going to be booted. Um, however, in my particular case, now that I've disabled graphics, I need to go ahead and install my graphics card before I can check everything. Let me do that. Stand by and I'll show you what's left.